The God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, Acts 7, 2, called out of the world. Here then we discover that which distinguishes the call of Abraham from every other call. It comes from God, the God of glory. In this world, with its cities and towers reaching up to heaven, there is nothing that speaks of God, but only that which exalts and displays the glory of man. The God of glory speaks of another scene in which there is nothing of man but everything that displays God. This is the God who, in wonderful grace, appears to a man who was living in a world estranged from God and sunk in idolatry. It is then the glory of the one that appears to Abraham that gives such importance to the call and gives faith its authority and power to answer to the call. Secondly, we learn that the call is a separating call. The word to Abraham is, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house. Abraham is not told to remain in the city of Ur and deal with man's wickedness or attempt to improve its social condition or reform its domestic ways or attempt to make it a better and brighter world. He is called to come out of it in every form. He is to leave the political world, thy country, the social world, thy kindred, and the family world, thy father's house. The call today is no less definite. It is not that we are to despise government. It is still God's appointment. Nor can we neglect family ties. They are ordered of God. Nor are we to cease to be courteous and kind and do good to all men as we have opportunity. But as believers, we are called from taking part in political activities of the world, the social round, and the whole sphere in which unconverted members of our families find their pleasure without God. We are not asked to reform the world or seek to improve its condition, but to come out from it. Hamilton Smith